Hello, Elena. Good yeah. morning. Yeah. So, uh, good morning, everyone. So, um, I would like to um, show you today several points what you can do on the platform. So, first. Um, I just um, introduce you the platform, how it looks like. Um, then I uh, would like to to show you how the platform looks for um, re for locked in um, external users, so those who are not members of any of the participating universities. And then uh, together, all to together, we will register as uh, with the register as an internal user, so as a member of the University of Münster, and submit a, um, an idea to an existing challenge and uh, a new challenge. So, uh, you uh, feel free to interrupt me if there are any questions pops up or on the go, and I will try to clarify them. So, the goal is that after the end of this session that you all understand how to use the platform uh, so well that you can even explain it uh, to your um, explain it farther to your colleagues uh, who will then contribute to the platform. Um, so, regarding the, um, the bugs which might uh, still occur, uh, we are still working on some uh, bugs related to the images, uh, some graphical things. Uh, so. Sorry for that, but um, would be fixed in the next couple of days. We'll send you another uh, message for that. If you face any uh, technical issues, if um, something goes wrong on the platform, we incorporate the button, feedback button. So if you go there, um, hope you can see it, uh, you can provide us your feedback about any issues that you have faced. So enter your name, your email address, and describe uh, what kind of technical issue you have faced. And then we will receive this message and uh, try to fix it as soon as possible. So we already worked on the platform, we already like tested it internally, and it should work uh, in a robust way. Um, but uh, for sure, something might occur, hopefully not many things. Uh, please uh, report it to us. All right, uh, so now that's how the platform looks like if you are not um, logged in. Um, so we are still working on, on a design here. Uh, so Maria has suggested some um, inspiring uh, message, um, engaging message to contribute to the platform and uh, providing a um, link to the About page where basically each uh, stage of the platform is being clarified. So that's these texts are still in progress and can be adjusted to provide more um, details and clarifications of what happens at each stage and why contribution at each stage is so important. All right, if you go back to home page, uh, you can see here um, further um, educational videos which were created by the uh, product seminar students, uh, which also clarify in more details how you can act on the platform. And then you can uh, click on participate now, or, or which will basically lead you to the window to create your account, and or the same the same functionality is if you click on login register, you will get again to the same window where you can create an own account. And I will come back to it in a second. We can always click on the uh, Equalis logo to get to the home page. Um, in the home page, you can see also information about uh, the challenges of the slideshow. Currently, there is only one challenge submitted, but in the future, once we have more contribution to the platform, there would be a slideshow of challenges, and uh, by clicking it, you can get to the to the respective challenge page. Um, and here, we incorporated some information about the uh, the Equalist projects itself, then the obligatory uh, project funding information that the European Commission supported, uh, development of this platform in particular, and we have also the uh, updated in live um, mode uh, Twitter feed of the Equalist project. Um, yeah, and here's some information about the partners and uh, uh, links to the social networks of the Equalist project. Um, so now I will maybe just first uh, quickly show you how the platform looks like if you are uh, logged in as internal user, so not as a member as one of the universities. Um, so just you have an understanding uh, how the platform looks like uh, for external users. So if you can click on login register, and you and now I will log in with my. Um, you see it's uh, at gmail.com account, so it's not the account of the University of Münster in my case, uh, but some private account. So if you log in, um, you see that it's a little bit changed, a little bit changed menu here. So you have an added uh, rankings uh, menu button, 
um, where you can um, see information about the top contributing universities and most active users. That was another way how we could try to uh, motivate more people to contribute uh, to become these most active users um, and also uh, giving them by giving them different number of points for different kind of activities in the platform. Um, and then you have also something? in the menu. Yes, sure. Uh, for the registration step, uh, one question. Uh, we have set different type of uh, users. Uh, do we choose what kind of uh, user we are? Or uh, yeah. you have so, set so it like, by default? So like, exactly. So that happens kind of automatically. So if you are so if you um, at the moment I, I'm just like logging in I will I will go to registration in a moment so if you are logged in with your uh, private email address at gmail.com yeah at this time you will be automatically an external user um, if you are logged in with uh, for example in this case at uni-munster.de email address then you will be logged in as an internal user so maybe let's then uh, uh, talk about it a little bit in, in detail then. Um, so if you go, like let's just again come back to the home page and if you go to log in register or click on participate now, you will get to this window. So and then you have, you can either create a new account here or log in or restore your password. So the uh, type of your user, whether you are external user or internal user, so if you are the user who is a member of one of the universities, the University of Münster or uh, Council of Technology uh, or all the universities participating in the Equalist project, um, then you need to log in using your university email address. In this page you can see the link, if you click on it, you will see all the email domains that you can use in order to be able to register as an internal user and have this extended user rights. Yeah? Yeah. So if you don't use one of these email, e email domains, then you will be automatically registered as an external user. So for example, as I did just now, if, uh, if you register, for example, with a Gmail or Yahoo uh, email address. Um, but let's then proceed as follows. So I, let's first then register, and then I will come back to the view for uh, external users. Um, when you create a new account, yeah, um, you need to use one of one of these um, domains, email domains, um, and then enter your first name and last name. So Elena Gorbacheva is my first and last name. Username. Um, which should be unique. So if you would, if you would, if it would be some non-unique username or existing username, you will have a notification. You will need to choose a different one to finalize the registration process. And then that's an important step. And here is again, you have the uh, help uh, menu uh, that you need to. Um, so if you are a member of one of the one of the universities participating in the Equalist project, you need to use the uh, respective email address. Um, so I will use my University of Münster email address to register. So it's Elena Gorbacheva at ve.uni-münster.de. So you see here for the domain um, star means any number of um, any any text can be before. So in this case it would be ve. Uh, would be before. But important is that uni-münster.de um, is um, contained in the email um, address name. Then you need to confirm it. Um, uh, then you need to provide information about your uh, gender, about your age, about your occupation. So you see that there, there's also option to have uh, not only for uh, student or academic or non-academic staff members, but also as a gender expert you can register or any other category is welcome and then you can provide further details. In this case, I'm an academic staff member, you can select further and then you can also um, uh, select if you would like to subscribe for any uh, notification. So, for example, if uh, any of the content you have published on the platform gets a like or a comment, then you can receive uh, a respective um, email notification. Uh, what we will also incorporate here, or we will try to do that, is um, to add here the checkbox notifications um, about the Equalist project updates. So if you would like to receive, especially relevant for those who are external users or um, not members of the 
uh, Equalist Consortium directly, but like other members of the university participating in the Equalist project, uh, they can also subscribe for the project updates and we can then notify them about our project activities. What is important here is that we need to agree with the uh, uh, cloud equality terms and conditions and house rules um, and they uh, can be seen um, if you if you click on the links, they will be open, and you can can read them through. So we de de develop them all together with uh, with V Labs and with the students, and using some some standard terms and conditions, and and adjusting it to our our needs, and also the uh, house rules. Please read read them through, and and, and also. Um, pay attention that all people who register on a platform have to read them, so what kind of content we welcome, what kind of content we, we do not welcome and will block, um, and so on. Uh, once this is done, you also need to check that you are not a robot to, um, to prevent um, some, um, some, some wrong people to, or like non-people non to register, and then you uh, click, click Create New Account. So what will happen now, you, you probably don't see it, but I receive an email um, to my email address uh, and, this, um, and this email contains a link that you need to follow to finalize the registration process. I will quickly insert this link here and then you will uh, get into this window where it says reset password. So you, uh, if you noticed, we haven't set any password yet, so that's something you, you will need to do during this step. So you press log in, and you will need to set your password and uh, confirm it um, in order to be able to finalize the registration process. You can also you can also upload your uh, picture here and click save. Um, so now, if you uh, so now you you are basically logged in. You are logged in as a person who is a member of University of uh, Münster. Yeah, uh, and that's how the platform looks like. So you have an option here to add challenge and so on. But first, I would like to then come back um, and and show you how the platform looks like if you are logged in as an external member. So if you are logged in as um, with using my gmail.com account and log in. Um, I have very similar uh, view or basically exactly the same view as um, if I would be um, logged in as a unimunusminister.de uh, email address. And here you have information about um, challenges, ideas, let's have a closer look at it. So if you go to challenges, you will uh, see uh, here information about the challenge which is already there. Currently there is only uh, one uh, challenge and uh, it says that it's now in the ideation phase and uh, by, clicking, um, by clicking on the challenge you can have uh, further details about it. So here it's about um, the challenge which we are currently facing at the University of Münster which is the low share of girls among uh, bachelor students. So we get very few girls who apply for our bachelor and information system study program and by that we have then also low numbers at um, farther academic levels. And uh, you as an external user you can basically uh, like this, um, this challenge or you can add um, a comment on this challenge. Yeah, so and uh, when you add a comment, all these actions you can also do uh, using when you have when you are logged in with your um, internal email address. So basically for the external users it's just limited rights which all internal users have. Um, so you can also add, an, add a comment and in these comments you can select its type. So you can either agree with this challenge and say yes, uh, this is like a very common problem for all, all um, IT institutions. You can provide criticism and uh, suggestions how this uh, challenge should be maybe rephrased, reformulated, or uh, maybe you can say that you would like that farther details are being included in this um, in this challenge. Um, if there are any questions, just just interrupt me, okay? Um, right, and then uh, so that's how you can um, add a, add a comment to the to the challenge as an external user, uh, but also you can do it as an internal user as well. Uh, then you have uh, for each challenge information about the 
ideas. So if you click on ideas within this challenge, you will have a list of, of all ideas. So currently, oops, uh, sorry, uh, currently uh, we have uh, two ideas addressing this challenge. If you go to one of them, you can see, so for example, one idea to address uh, the low number of uh, girls applying for bachelor and international systems uh, study program would be to incorporate um, activities promoting our program into existing um, interventions for girls. The University of Münster has already several um, on the university level interventions for girls, but the information system study program till now has not been prominently presented there. So one idea could be to think how information system study program could be more prominently presented there. Um, yes? Maria, oh, oh, I'm sorry, Maria, Elena, uh, I have a question. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, when uh, the user add the comment, uh, for example, he can uh, skip this uh, possibility to set the comment type. Uh, for example, uh, he didn't do it and uh, he selected agreement uh, type, but, uh, for example, uh, inside the comment it was a criticism. Is it possible for administrator, uh, I mean for administrator, uh, for the person who is um, in charge for, uh, from our university uh, for, um, for reading these comments, is it possible to change the type of uh, comment? Because it, is it possible, yeah? yeah. And, and uh, the other uh, the, um, suggestion, maybe uh, right now, uh, when you, and uh, yesterday when I was testing uh, this is the platform, and now you uh, probably have seen uh, when uh, two, two ideas uh, were added to, uh, to one challenge, uh, you can see the frame line, uh, skip, uh, click to the, please right now, click to the, uh, to challenges, yes, and uh, uh, select the challenge. Um, Can you see? I, it? Like I a trade? Yes, this one. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, no. Uh, mm, go Previous down. One? Yes, this this screen. No, this screen. Mm -hmm. And go down. Uh, can you see? It looks like uh, the frame, red line. It cross. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's, it's, it's what I said about the image uh, image problems because on different screens it looks differently. We are still working on that. So this this kind of uh, issues uh, you don't need to tell us. We know about them, so we will fix them in the next days and we'll send you another message once it is fixed. And, and if you still face them, uh, then um, use the feedback button to report on them. Uh, but that's um, uh, this mm -hmm. is like a minor minor things which we are still facing with this uh, graphical graphical issues. Um, yeah, yes, yes. yeah. So you, you know about it. Okay. Yeah, we are, we know about them, uh, and on different screens it looks different. It's on some screens, it's actually you will see it properly. On some screens, you would see it like it is now. Um, so that's uh, we we are fixing this. Uh, sorry for that. It's just it, it's an ongoing process. Um, okay. Regarding regarding editing the the con the content. So basically, the one who submits. Any mm -hmm. content. So, uh, for example, now if, if as an external user, you can submit comments. Uh, you can also edit or delete an own content. You can always mm -hmm. always do it. So you can edit mm -hmm. the type. Um, additionally, the uh, platform moderators. So that's what we ask you to do to provide us the name who would actually the moderate the platform for, for your um, university. Uh, so that moderator, this person, will be assigned the specific extended rights and will have also um, an opportunity to edit the content submitted to the uh, submitted to the challenges and ideas or in the area um, of this university. So for example, you, if you would be the moderator and someone submits a wrong uh, type of the comment, mm -hmm. you will also be able to change the type of the comment. You will mm -hmm. have this right as, as a moment. Or to ban, to ban uh, somebody. Absolutely, yeah. So that's, that's, that's uh, what, what, also, what also can be done. Um, once the comment will be submitted, you will, um, not only you, uh, but anyone would be, will have a chance that would be um, a, a button to um, uh, maybe maybe we'll just just do it quickly. So, for example, we submit now the content, like some test, some test test comment. We will um, um, post it. 
let's see what happens. And uh, you have it uh, as a test, and then you can uh, flag it as offensive. So that's mm -hmm. something that every user can do if if something is uh, is, is offensive mm -hmm. there. Uh, but also you, as a moderator, will have a chance to delete it, or to censor it, or do okay. whatever. Okay. So, and you see, I also have an option now to edit or to delete because I'm the owner of this comment, so I have an option to do any changes to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, right. So um, that's um, um, so that's something uh, what an installer can do is to add a comment to an idea or to also add a comment to a challenge. But for example, uh, you, if you, as you see here, the add idea button is disabled, so external users cannot add ideas. And also, if we would go to challenges and try to add a challenge, you would also see this access denied window, uh, meaning that we. We all, only the members of of university participating in the Apple's project um, have yeah. rights to submit new ideas and new um, uh, challenges, and I will show you in a second how it should be done. Uh, yes. Yes, Ellen. At this point, maybe it's better to write what the, you described us now, because sometimes access denied uh, gives the impression that uh, the web page is not working properly. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. We will we will we will change the text here. Yeah. You, will to, you don't have you don't have uh, rights as you are an external uh, user. So we'll have uh, you will have text. Um, um, yeah. You will have text uh, similar to mm -hmm. when you said when you would like to add um, an idea. You know, the same suggestion from me, uh, for you know, when I tried to work as an external user, there were a lot of uh, buttons uh, which were not uh, allowed for me, and uh, I, uh, it was difficult to understand, maybe, maybe some message, it's better to, 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 to uh, if some message will appear, for example, this uh, button or this function is only allowed for registered users. For, for, for internal for internal users, yes, for those <laughs> members of universities. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's correct. We will provide a lot, uh, because for voting, uh, voting uh, buttons, add command buttons, uh, buttons, add idea buttons, and so on. And over, uh, when uh, the user tried to do something, and all of them are just uh, impossible. All these buttons, it's it's not very comfortable to work uh, to to work uh, with um, such service. Yes, it's, it's better to, 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 to add some commands okay. and use a, okay. when external yeah. user try to, to, to press such, such buttons. Right. So what I think, what you also mean is when you are actually not logged in, yes? Yeah? So if you're not yes. logged in... If I, I, I mean, uh, for, uh, yes, some buttons are not uh, allowed for external, uh, for guests, and some buttons are not allowed, allowed for... Not locked in. External, uh, external uh, experts, yes. And yeah. in both the cases, it's better to give some commands for users when they try to, to, to press this button. Right, so we will have, uh, we will then uh, well, have a yes. help text. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think that, uh, yeah, we have, we have two solutions depending also on uh, what it, it's easier for you to implement. Uh, you can add the comments uh, or you can just uh, uh, take away uh, the, the buttons uh, that uh, the users uh, from the interface, I mean, not showing the buttons uh, to not allow the users. Usually, these are the two uh, solutions that uh, you can, uh, you can uh, I mean, select in the implementation phase, depending on what it's easier. But yes, I agree that it's uh, more, uh, it's better to have some uh, explanation if, if there is a button that you cannot use. Right. We will add this help text. It would be easier to add help text. Okay. So, uh, for example, if we n n now uh, I just logged out, so you see now I'm not logged in at all. So if you go to to challenges, um, you don't have the button at challenge here. Yeah. If you if you go inside, it is disabled. Um, so you so basically here it's already the text is there so that um, as you are not member of the research institution, the challenge belongs to you. Cannot add an idea. Blah blah blah. Um, and um, please ensure that you are logged in to if you would like to comment. So this is like a message, uh, but maybe we do it a bit more because now it's maybe a little bit 
too much text, maybe we'll do more bullet points so that it's clear why specific buttons are not um, available. We will um, do it more clear and also ensure that it's everywhere uh, these messages appear and help text appear so that it's clear um, why specific functionality is not available for specific users. All right. Um, so I would like to proceed and now um, and now log in um, as a um, as, a, as a member of University of Münster, so with the email address of University of Münster, so you see uh, with at unimunster.de email address, um, and by that uh, I appear um, in the so-called uh, private area of the platform uh, for University of Münster. So if you uh, go to the challenges uh, phase, you see a new uh, feature here. Um, so here it's stated, view only challenges from the University of Münster, and you can turn it on and off. At the moment it, it's, it makes no difference because there's only one challenge, but in the future you will, um, so all members logging in uh, to the respective private area of the platform will have an option to kind of pre-select only those challenges which are relevant for their university or uh, see all challenges which are also submitted for other universities. So depending on what they would like to do, so they are also welcome to uh, contribute to the challenges and ideas of the other universities, but then as external users for them. So only for an own private area there would be uh, the functionality to actually add um, a challenge and add uh, an idea to these challenges. Okay, so now we are um, and now let's let's have a look at this at this challenge how it looks here. So if you see um, uh, also a little bit different to the to the view before. So we have this external view and internal view. Um, if it's external view now it's active as external view. That means that if you submit now any comments to this challenge, that would be visible for everyone. So if you scroll down here, you see that if you add a comment, it would be visible also for general public. If you would like to add some specific comments about this challenge, which you only would like to be visible for other uh, people from, from the University of Münster, you, ch you change to this internal view, click on internal view, and now you see, if you scroll down, uh, there is a comment only visible for your university. So whatever you submit now and put into the comment field, field will only be visible to, to the members of your university. By that we will enable, uh, we will distinguish between the kind of internal discussions about the challenges and the same, the same, exactly the same functionality is for the ideas, so you can also add comments to the ideas, uh, internal discussion and external discussion, so that we can also then do some comparative analysis and uh, to compare if the views uh, for people from the university differ from the views from, from general public, but for sure both both views should be in a way considered. Um, okay, so um, now uh, I already introduced this challenge about low share of um, of uh, girls among those who apply for our IS study program, and uh, here we see the uh, two ideas uh, two ideas using this challenge. One already introduced, another one was about um, the Germany-wide uh, Girls' Day, uh, which is the annual intervention day for, day for girls and uh, where girls are allowed to come to the, to the campus and uh, talk to, uh, talk to uh, students and professors uh, at, at our department, uh, but somehow uh, maybe it could be actually done more prominently and that's what the, what the idea is about. And I would like to actually submit another idea. So I have another idea and I would like to submit it and then I can here click on add idea and then you have uh, the new window which is about creating um, a new idea and you have some text here which I will suggest that you all read carefully through. So uh, first of all, um, uh, here, here um, what is important is to avoid duplicating content and uh, that's why here's a, here it's a, no, a note of, like have a look at the existing ideas uh, and first have a look at them in order to not submit uh, the same idea again and also you can relate your idea to existing ideas and there is if you click on it there would be the option to further relate your ideas to to other ideas if you, if you if your idea is similar or related to the other ideas in a way, yeah. 
Um, when you submit your idea, uh, you need to first uh, propose uh, some title, some catchy and meaningful, meaningful um, title of maximum 130 characters. So, I was thinking about um, that uh, it could be an idea to actually not only um, have a look at our internal interventions, which we already have at the University of Münster, but also uh, maybe uh, make more active the school visits so that, that we, um, like students who study IS or uh, people from, people who are academic staff members from the IS department uh, can actually go uh, and visit schools uh, to promote our study program there. So that's uh, the title for the idea I was thinking about is to organize regular school visits by information system students and academic staff members. Um, yeah, that would be the title. Um, then, uh, what you can do is you can um, add um, an image, a characteristic image for idea, but also you can do it for the for the challenge. And here we have uh, two options. So you can see there this image box, and you can either um, upload um, a file from your uh, computer by clicking the upload button or you can uh, pre-select the image from the Equalist uh, image repository. So if you click on open, fi open file browser, you will see here, do you see it actually? I don't know if you see it. Um, mm, uh, different, uh, different pictures, different images that you can add. And uh, let's like, let just search for the for the image which is fitting, so select the fitting image, um, and uh, yeah, then we have an image for, for, for a characteristic of characterizing the idea. Um, what will happen in the next week is that you will need to upload your own uh, challenges and ideas, and it might happen that you uh, don't have uh, or you cannot find the fitting image in the image repository. Uh, or you don't have it, um, then what we recommend is that you um, go to photolia.com, I will send you the link uh, to Slack again, um, and search for a fitting image there, uh, and then if we have a, a large number of requests, we can reactivate our account there and uh, then uh, download all these images and then add them to the image repository. So if there is some fitting image which is uh, which is paid and you would like to have it, then send us the link to it and we will buy it or, or try to somehow organize it. But uh, we already have a hundred images in the image repository, so hopefully for the majority of the cases we are already quite good cover, quite well covered. That's about the images. If there are any questions, just interrupt me. All right, then the most important part uh, with the idea is the idea description. Um, the idea description is in this um, in a special window and uh, it should not exceed uh, 600 words. So the idea behind that, um, that, that it should be a brief and concise and straight, straight to the point description instead of copying and pasting some other material. That's something which we need to avoid because otherwise no one will read it if it would be too long. So what we will do is if you have some further information, there are two options to provide it. Either there is an option to upload files. So if, for example, you have uh, this, uh, this window with attachments, if you um, have some further um, information about the idea as files, you can upload them. Or if, for example, you have information about um, examples of uh, other best practices when a similar idea has been implemented somewhere else already successfully and you have files there, you can upload them here. Same you can be done with links. So if you scroll, scroll down, you, can, you have here um, the box called Farther Links. And here you can provide as many links uh, as you like to uh, farther information about the idea. You can always like uh, add another item if you would like to add more than one link. Okay. So again, very concise description and all farther information as uh, additional files or links. Um, 
another message which is stated here is that information in this box, in this text box will be publicly available. That means also to um, external users and to not logged in users. So if there is any sensitive content which you would like to not be available to general public, please do not put it here, but put it instead in the next window which is called internal information and this information will be only visible to the members of your research institution. So those who are logged in in the same area, private area of the platform. Helena? Yes. Uh, Helena, uh, is it possible of maybe for our university, uh, is it possible to use uh, this uh, box, internal information, for Ukrainian translation in the Ukrainian? Uh, for example, uh, we will post uh, yeah. the uh, English, uh, in English, the description of idea in the first box. And in the internal information uh, box, uh, we will uh, post uh, the same text in the Ukrainian or in Russian. Fantastic. Yeah, what absolutely. You That's your field. That's like, you know, you have freedom to do whatever you like here. It will only be visible to the public. You can post their uh, information in your local language, and it's uh, that's that's great. Yeah, that's that's exactly what it's there for. So that's for your internal use. And same with the comments. So what I, so what I wanted to say before with the comments, we, we also have this difference between between um, uh, comments only for, for for your university and visible for general public. So maybe what you could also communicate to your colleagues and students that they can also post comments in the Ukrainian language, but for that they will need to uh, make sure that they do it in this internal view. So um, mm -hmm. just to, yeah, so they just, and then they can do it in, in the Ukrainian language to maybe just to motivate them so they can also do it in local language, not necessarily in English. So that yes, absolutely. Can actually absolutely. Yeah. Contribute. Right, okay, so that's how we try to address the language problem. Maybe the same would be also relevant for other partners. So for Germany it's not such a big deal because in Germany everyone speaks English quite well, but I think it's not the case for all. That's why we have the distinction between internal and inter external, also for that language uh, barrier reason. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank okay. you. Um, and then uh, Maria has prepared uh, the um, like this the, the structure, the the uh, the main points which should be included when describing your idea, so that um, when you post information about the idea, uh, we should try to all to cover all these points, Na namely the uh, details of the target groups, so basically who uh, this idea is addressed, so who this idea will help or who is, who, are the, who is the target group for this idea, so what is the main goal of the idea, uh, pro provide some, basically describe the proposed activities, what the idea should do. Um, then maybe tell who would be actually involved in the implementation of this idea, so who would be this internal and external sh uh, stakeholders, and what kind of resources would be required to implement the idea. And, and for that you have a, a maximum 600 words. So I'll just copy here the text I have prepared for, for my idea about um, uh, school visits. So here what I write is that uh, that the girls could learn about our IS study program uh, during school visits of either students who study IS or uh, academic staff members from our Department of Admission Systems. And they can, sh they can share their experience, especially like engaging female speakers um, would be beneficial because they can act as role models then. And then I write, I try to write about the, uh, about the stakeholders and about the process itself, so we need to ensure sustainability, that's why it could be done as an, um, as an activity or as one of the tasks of, on the one hand, uh, IS uh, student uh, co uh, council, so we have the student council, um, which deals with, um, with all the student affairs and ask them to take care of it and maybe like twice a year uh, organize the visits to school. And on the other hand, um, it can also be incorporated as a duty of the IS study coordinator, so the person who is responsible for communication with the, with the students and for the um, overall communication between the academic staff members and IS students. So this person also uh, motivates uh, either students or 
uh, and or academic staff members to also participate in the school visits. Yeah. Um, then I write about that the girls only schools would be the primary target, but because there are not so many of them, all schools can be included and um, and tell and tell about the previous activities that okay there were some sporadic school visits in the past, um, but somehow the, it was not really promoted that, that IS is a girl-friendly girl uh, study program. That is just an example of uh, how an idea description could look like. For sure, you will have your own ideas which would be relevant for your university, uh, which would be different, and that's something which is where you need to decide which ideas are relevant for you, uh, which will be tailored to your university. Mm -hmm. yes, may I step in? May I step in, Elena? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, my question is, um, uh, for example, uh, we see that, that there is an idea which is submitted here, and um, in this particular case, just just as an example, uh, we see that um, there are, in, in, with respect to the. Uh, um, outlined um, bullet points of uh, how uh, an, an idea presentation should look like. There, there is a missing field, for example, uh, there is some missing information about uh, the estimated time and resources, or I mean, in some other cases, we, we might need some other details because, the, because they are missing in the, in the um, uh, text which has been submitted. Um, could we um, uh, like instruct the moderators on the platform uh, to then uh, check uh, each uh, item which is uh, which, which is submitted and then comment uh, requiring additional information if it was if uh, it is missing. I think this would be important yeah. because uh, all all ideas then will have to. Uh, be screened and uh, assessed in the in the um, review phase, and therefore it will be important that, that we make, sh make sure that there is enough information then to actually review them. Uh, so yeah. this, this is one one issue. And then um, uh, my other comment was about um, uploading uh, pictures um, or visual elements already into the text box here. Uh, and this is actually more relevant maybe for the uh, challenge submission uh, part. Um, as when I was uh, presenting uh, uh, earlier this morning, I was I was stressing that it would be important that we uh, provide some um, visualized. Uh, uh, data and figures baseline to, to, to the challenges. Uh, and therefore, um, I was thinking it would be great if uh, in the um, challenges description box, apart from the uh, icons, the images which are, um, which everybody can, can be, the pictures that everybody can actually upload uh, using the um, right uh, side uh, menu uh, on the page, but then it would be uh, nice to to upload here from the um, or just inside the the text box. There is the icon for uploading another internal image. Then, when we describe the challenge, a challenge, it would be uh, good to to add some um, uh, figures and on on uh, data related to that particular challenge. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so um, to the last point regarding the images, um, I'm not sure, so basically it is there now, so I will, I will in a moment um, um, show you how to, uh, how to add a, um, a new challenge, and then it will be the same window uh, to add an image, and it will be linked to the same image repository, so uh, we will have images to both challenges and ideas, um, so I'm not, I'm not sure, is it fine like that, or you, or you suggest to do it differently? No, it, it is fine like that. Uh, I was just suggesting that um, in, to add some uh, charts and figures also inside the text box. As I see that there is the, the possibility for doing so already uh, in the menu. In the menu here, there is uh, you can upload a table. You can uh, up, you, yeah. you can include in the text uh, another uh, image file. 
which I guess would be screened in the in the in the text, right? Absolutely. No, no. Okay. Yeah, so we have so we so we have so we have here quite advanced uh, editor. So you can basically do whatever you like there. Um, still, um, I think, and it was like what we discussed, it should be up to 600 words. So if if there is it's some kind of some huge table, then you better make it as an attachment and upload it as a separate file. If it's something mm -hmm. very small and very specific, like maybe the numbers, for example, and just two or three lines, which are very important to actually describe the challenge or or the idea. Then you can also do it in this same text box. So the editor allows to do whatever, add an image, add a table, uh, edit text, whatever you like. So all the functionality is there. So it's very advanced. Um, but I still insist that if it's something like bigger thing, some 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 bigger files, bigger bigger figures, bigger tables, then upload them as a separate file rather than include it in the description because then it might become too too bulky, too too big. That was um, my idea. Okay. Yeah. Good. And regarding regarding the, um, the the first point, yes, absolutely. So we will need to maybe um, I don't know. We will, we can see maybe we'll do it via Slack um, with moderators. We will keep in touch with the local moderators and actually again clarify uh, the complete list of their tasks. So what actually is expected from them, and one yeah. of their tasks for sure should be to check what has been submitted and if uh, not enough information has been provided then they should uh, either contact this person uh, like you know via comments or via uh, via personal emails because they will see who submitted what idea and what challenge and they will see the email address of this person uh, yeah. because you need to register and contact him or her directly um, or as, an, as, as, a, as a comment to the idea or challenge, or if uh, the moderator is aware of this information, him or herself, then just add, it, add this information immediately directly to the, to the text of the challenge and, or the idea. So that would be okay. like the three possible options, how to ensure that the um, description is complete. Okay, great. Uh, thank you. Yeah, indeed, the, the moderators then we, we, we need to address also this this issue of uh, how to uh, provide full information to the moderators and make them aware of the role. This could actually happen also. We can discuss it for the more of luck. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay, so that would be like that's the most tricky part. So like you see that even my description now, so although I tried <laughs> to make it comprehensive, is not uh, is not that comprehensive, and uh, probably I will need to then extend it um, later on with uh, information about the estimated time and resources. That's something I need to uh, like give more thoughts about, and then I will I can always come back to it and can always extend it, adding this further information to make it complete. Um, further things is about um, classifying your your idea. And here you have the specific tax uh, field, um, and this uh, uh, tax contains different categories. How you can actually cluster your ideas? I was thinking a lot. How would be the most appropriate uh, categories for? Uh, to classify actually the ideas, and um, in the end, I decided that that the Basically, the classification uh, provided by the uh, German Science Foundation uh, is is quite good. So um, I will just maybe quickly show it to you so that you understand where do this uh, text uh, come from. Uh, it's called um, it's called Toolbox by the German Science Foundation, and there they collected uh, all possible interventions uh, at German universities to promote gender equality. And they developed this, this categorization of interventions. And I just made some very minor adjustments to this very comprehensive categorization and incorporated it to the platform. So here you can see uh, the same areas like in the uh, toolbox of the German Science Foundation, and here you can say, okay, what what does this idea uh, mostly addressing? So for sure, there might be some additional 
additional um, tags, additional category. That's why here we have this message, do you feel a tag is missing, please communicate it to us. And then you will have a new window where you can basically provide information about far third tags. But we decided to not uh, just um, add it automatically, but make it like pre-approval to avoid that there would be too many categories which might be overlapping, irrelevant, or obsolete. That's why we will keep it first like that and maybe in the course of the ideation phase we will extend this uh, classification. So for our specific idea, um, this, this category staff, research pr prospective students would be the most fitting one because that's about prospective students and here you can further uh, check what it's about and it's about degree choice because we want to motivate girls to choose a degree in um, in information systems. But I would also say it's not only about degree choice, we can have click here at another item and say it's also about actually networking because uh, when students visit, visit university visit, visit the school they can also talk to girls and network with girls and for girls so for girls it's also a networking opportunity that's why I would also take it as a networking uh, idea okay then you can relate it to other ideas and challenge this is still uh, we will change this this view a little bit but basically you can uh, you will be able to have a look at the oh it's a little bit you will have a look and relate it to the possible other ideas existing on the platform already and describe why these ideas are similar okay and then you have a chance to post it as um, as uh, anonymous user or using your your first and last name so that's also up to up to you and you need to always check um, to avoid any conflicts in the future that if you once uploading the, the image there is no copyright, copyright trouble so if you upload your own image uh, that you have rights to upload this image and then you press uh, submit idea and now if we go to the ideas phase we can see uh, that this idea has been added and we can see this window of this new idea and in the right corner, upper right corner which challenges addresses um, and now you can comment farther or it on it and as, again as I already mentioned before for those if you would like to provide comments in the local language then just switch to internal view and then you can post any comments which would be only visible to the members of your university. Okay that was about the idea and now um, uh, are there any questions here? Otherwise, I will just quickly um, show you, it's very similar, um, how to add a new challenge. So, it's a very similar process, there will just be uh, very few peculiarities, so if you would like to add a new challenge, this, this can only be done by members of, uh, of the specific university. Um, so, you go to challenges and then you click on add challenge. And uh, you have a similar window here, so saying that um, Challenge challenges like before submitting a new challenge, please review existing challenges to avoid duplicates. Uh, please also think uh, which challenges are rel related to your challenge and um, uh, to show this uh, connectedness between uh, different challenges. Um, and a um, similar thing, um, challenge, uh, challenge title. Um, and uh, uh, also information about the challenge. Here, um, different to the information about the idea, the following points are important to provide. So when you uh, specify the text of your uh, challenge, again maximum 600 words, you need to tell, talk about the seriousness of the problem, so why this is actually the challenge, uh, its impact on your university or maybe on the uh, overall research, academic community in general, so why uh, this challenge is serious, uh, then uh, the ways um, this challenge affects the operations and uh, experience of uh, staff members or maybe students um, of your university and also mention if the challenge has already been attempted to address earlier, if you are aware of any such activities. Uh, then you can also uh, maybe to make it, to not make it too long, uh, what is suggested here in this help text that if you if you have some um, information about direct experiences or some concrete examples, some concrete situations which might be quite lengthy, uh, please provide them as uh, then comments to the challenge uh, to avoid just making it too large, but please provide this information as well. And again, uh, the challenge uh, can 
okay, an image can be uploaded for the challenge the same way as it was before. Um, so, for example, uh, we will um, now would like to, to add a challenge about raising awareness. Um, so we know that at the University of um, Münster, oh, for some reason it's that it's too small. Uh, anyway, um, uh, we just I will ch check a different one just just for just like selecting some picture. Um, for example, if you would like to raise awareness about the gender importance of gender equality, uh, because the challenge currently is that the, the University of Münster that there is lack of uh, interest um, and lack of respect, so to say, to the topic of gender equality. So that's maybe something which was also relevant for the uh, Turku University. So here the example would be of our challenge is that there is a lack of interest in the topic of gender equality. And uh, in the description, um, I will just put it here. So description, I, I state that although we face this challenge of underpresentation of women at our uh, department and also among our students, um, still till now the topic of gender equality has not been um, discussed or recognized as important. Uh, so basically there is, a, there is a lack of understanding what gender equality or gender inequality is and very common is being limited to just direct discrimination issues and not uh, including such in, inter-discrimination issues as glass ceiling and so on. So, and this is like the challenge which we need to somehow address uh, at our department. Maybe I can later on we'll add some internal information. Uh, then uh, we will have for each challenge the date end of the ideation phase and end of the voting phase, these dates are fixed and that they are in line with what Maria has presented you to today. So please don't change them because this one what we, what we, can, what we have set. Um, uh, and then you can provide uh, farther, farther links again like it was for the idea. Uh, for each challenge, uh, we, also need, we also would like to classify the challenges. And uh, what we thought about that we need to, for each challenge, identify its area and its target groups, which are affected by the challenge. And for the challenge areas, we have here the four areas of the equal, equal ICT project. Yeah. So in the best case, you relate each challenge to one of one or more of these uh, challenge areas. So for example, this one is about HR practices and management processes. It can be also other, but we would again do it like on demand and add it only if, it's, if it really makes sense. And then you can also identify uh, who is actually affected by the challenge, and in this case it would be all academic staff members and non-academic staff members and also the students and, and also prospective students because this is like the issue which is comprehensive that there is this lack of lack of awareness about the, the issues. Um, yeah, so at the moment there are no related challenges so we keep this one empty and we can post this, I can post it myself and click on submit the challenge. And now you can see the challenge face, face. Uh, and then you can submit further ideas or comments to this challenge. So, uh, do you have any um, questions here? I would just uh, then maybe come back to you, Elena, uh, um, by email um, with with um, a proposal to uh, maybe to to make more clear a distinction in the in the text guidelines which are provided uh, so, that we with that, so that we clarify that uh, maybe files with literature uh, has to be, uh, have to be uh, uploaded uh, separately as, as a link or as an attachment, but then uh, maybe encouraging a bit more uh, to, uh, to paste here into the text if, if there, there, is, there, there are um, uh, like like uh, charts. Uh, I'm I'm insisting a bit on this because it's um, this this part. Uh, I think if we manage 
through visual elements to attract also on um, uh, users and give them very clearly the impression that uh, the problems at stakes uh, at stake have, uh, actually have, um, are grounded into into concrete uh, visible figures. Uh, this would help us also to uh, have more ch chances to engage also those who maybe are thinking, well, but this is not really, you know, uh, an issue or a challenge. But if we if we could um, screen um, very directly uh, some some or attract the attention uh, through some some uh, uh, charts. Uh, giving the impression that there is uh, some stance in terms of figures behind it, then I think it would be uh, positive. Yeah, good. So then maybe, uh, so at the moment in the description we already have this that uh, information about that files and links can be um, can be uploaded separately, but maybe then I will add here a sentence that uh, some main uh, figures, if they are important to justify the importance of the challenge, can yeah. be placed in the description of the challenge directly. That's maybe that's, I will add it additionally and maybe make it as an additional bullet point here, uh, so that it's clear that this information is important. And also in the next days I will, um, I will finalize analysis for the data for the University of Münster and upload um, other challenges and ideas, and then I will try to also include uh, some figures from the from the survey or from statistics which I already have. Um, to also have it like as an example for other partners so that they can also then follow similar patterns. But, okay, but do you feel that that if you some of the figures if you present them uh, in, in through through charts, it would become visually too heavy? Uh, let, 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 let's check. So, like you know, I will uh, maybe uh, let's do the following. Um, I will try. So I will upload a couple of. I will. I will. I will see how this how this editor actually works. So it, it okay. has this functionality. But I let, let's see how it works. Maybe if it if, it, if the sizing is fine, if everything looks nice, and uh, if yes, it will proceed. If there are any issues, I will come back to you, and then we we'll can we can think about other solution or like possible solution. How can we make it make sure that it doesn't look too heavy? That it's still okay. uh, uh, looking nice. Let's let's do it like that. Yeah. Okay. Great. Then, uh, one more question, please. Yes. And um, uh, if I am uh, I was registered as a um, staff of uh, my university, may I uh, add uh, ideas uh, to other universities? No. Only for my. Yes. So for the other universities, you would be an external user. So so you you you, you will be able to uh, comment and like uh, ideas and challenges of the other universities, but mm -hmm. not be able to add a challenge or an idea um, to, the, to, 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 to the other university, except for moderators. So the moderators can do everything. <laughs> so yes, those who I, are the local moderators, I, they, can, they can do everything. They have all moderators' rights, uh, but the regular members only to the respective private mm -hmm. area of I mean, as a moderator, I can I can add uh, s some uh, contribution to other universities. Also. Yes, as a moderator, you can do everything. Mm -hmm. So please, so please don't misuse it, okay? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, more questions? So uh, there is. We have now Slack. If you have, any, if any questions pop up, put them on Slack. If you have any technical, uh, uh, if you have any technical I issues, uh, send them via feedback. So that we know exactly that it's uh, the technical issues. We will address them as soon as possible to our nearest availability. Um, yeah. If there's anything else, uh, yeah, just let me know. Um, I will try to help. Uh, otherwise, next next one and a half weeks are reserved that you. Uh, upload your challenges and ideas which you already revealed during the gender auditing so far. In the future you will be able, in the next, during the whole audition phase, you will be able to extend and revise and update these challenges and ideas, but uh, the first content should be uploaded uh, in the next one and a half weeks. It doesn't need to be a lot, but it needs to be something to just start the discussion um, and once you send invitations to your colleagues and to into general public that there is already some information on the platform. 
yeah, so that's the next next steps. And uh, if there are no more comments, that's it from my side. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Elena, for this uh, training. Thank you. Thank you, Elena. Any questions? Okay, I said uh, during the last meeting that we're going to distribute uh, templates to complete the challenges in uh, Word files, but uh, the tool is so easy to use. Yeah. Uh, so we decided uh, to ask you to go directly and register to this platform and upload uh, the challenges uh, uh, there. Uh, Vicky, and one more question, please. Yes, please go Hello? ahead. Hello? Yes, Vicky? yes, I can hear you. Please. One more question. Uh, we, uh, right now, we will... Uh, yesterday, we were registered as... Um, me and my colleague, uh, Elena, uh, Olena uh, Plaka, we were registered as um, just uh, users, users from our university, but we are not a moderator still uh, right now. Uh, and uh, how, who will uh, end us a role of moderator? Yeah. So uh, we need. Uh, how we, you should you should send this information to. I think you should have received an email from Vasya or yeah, from Vicky from Vasya, I think. Mm -hmm. Right, and uh, Vasya, once she receives information from all partners, she will forward it to me, and then I will have email addresses of all people who are moderators, and we will assign uh, respective rights. To the and are you going, uh, Elena? Are you going to give uh, some more instructions for moderators? I mean, uh, some uh, more specific, uh, because right now we were mostly uh, discussing uh, the um, possibilities for. Um, users and for external users, internal users. Uh, yeah. What about moderators? Yeah, so Maria and I, we, we, we thought that it would be actually important to provide more instructions uh, for moderators and explain their Maybe. roles. So no, I don't Maybe know, Maria, uh, it will yeah, be also I don't know. Uh, yeah. as a form of video. Um, yeah, I don't know. So, so Maria, what do you think? Um, we can either do it uh, just uh, on via Slack, or we can also make another session with moderators. I don't know. Um, what do you think, Maria? Um, I think that that um, it it also depends on on um, to what extent you know, the, the the people who are now here in in the room will also be the moderators. <laughs> It might be repetitive. Uh, I, I don't. I don't have a picture about uh, who is going to moderate uh, the, the process, but we we can eventually have another um, separate session because moderators uh, really have to to be aware of everything, included in starting. I would say from the house of rule, from the rules of house. Sorry. Uh, and then also how to um, uh, to to keep the engagement alive, how to make sure that the provided information is complete, and that then all, all the other facilitation um, uh, part. Uh, so yeah. Um, I suggest maybe to um, to give uh, some instructions in uh, written form and then to to organize uh, question answer sessions session moderators and in a few days I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can submit some uh, some some instructions on Slack in the respective channel, and uh, so Maria and I we can just do it like uh, how it's called. Uh, in the not, not so structured way, so that we discussed today already what, what the functions of moderators can be, and yeah. that's if something pops up, we just put it on Slack immediately, and if we see that there are questions or too many questions to occur, we will make a session, or if there would be a, like a farther, farther of a specific um, need in the session, we will for sure organize it, but if the instructions that we will put on Slack are clear and uh, everyone understands them, then maybe we will just uh, continue uh, communicating via Slack. So let's maybe just make it a, a bit, keep it okay. a bit open for the moment and uh, put it on Slack and then let's see if, if we need another session for moderators. Okay, okay. 
What, what if on Slack we, we separate the two discussion, we create two different discussion channels, uh, one on the platform um, and the other one on the process, on the crowdsourcing process, uh, so that maybe this would appear as uh, more organized and also more functional to our purposes, so that on one side we discuss how to, to use the platform and on the other side how, uh, which are the key, the, the key points um, for, for the process and the reviewing phase, the roles, uh, the decision making uh, part of uh, going towards the, 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 the general quality plan, etc. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Mm, okay, this I, and then I will I will create and we'll create two different tags for this. Okay. Yeah. Thank so you. One, one about content and one about uh, process. Yeah, so like yeah, two yeah. Things. yeah. I think it's all. It's good. Okay. 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 So thank you very much for this training. And uh, keep in touch, next week we'll start uh, uploading the content to the crowdsourcing platform. And in case you face any technical issues, please use the feedback uh, option on the crowdsourcing platform. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Have Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.